Today on Toy Shoes, when there's something stranger in the neighbor things. That didn't work at all. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Target exclusive Bandai's Stranger Things action figures. These are very interesting. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Dean Cameron on Instagram. He goes, oh, yeah, you know what? Hey, these are kind of like Fright Feature Kenner Ghostbusters. Kenner Real Ghostbusters-ish, right? Especially in the artwork and the packaging. And the fact that when you squeeze their legs or push a button, they do like Fright Feature type things. So you have Eleven, which is figure number one. And you got Dustin, which is figure number two. I mean, yeah, it's interesting, at least. And each one will come with a piece to build a Demogorgon. But then it says, collect all six figures from Series 1 and 2 to build the Demogorgon. But then on the back, there's only five figures. There's three in silhouette. So I'm assuming there's going to be another one. But then there's, there's only five numbered on the Demogorgon. Who knows, right? Maybe it's a base or something like that. Here's the barcode as well if you want to... Scan these in the store and see if they have any in the back. Found them over in the NECA Funko Entertainment section by the TVs at the back of the store. And then, of course, yes, Dustin. And I really like the artwork on that. I think that's very cool. Again, it's the whole 80s nostalgia with Stranger Things. Having them already include Ghostbusters. How they dressed up in, what, Season 2? And it's just, it really falls into that category of Ghostbusters 80s type toys. And these just really are interesting to me so i am excited to check them out hope you are too that's probably why you're watching or to just see how bad or good these are who knows sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot stranger things cup of coffee when you're binging netflix i'm just gonna stop this is a look at the brand new bandai target exclusive stranger things series 1 11 and dustin and of course, here they are out of the packaging. And <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to go, no, no, not for me. Video's over, right? Well, hear me out. I mean, they're not. There's some good things. There's some weird things. And there's some, you know, whatever's to this. But, you know, it comes with two build-a-figure parts. You got the Demogorgon arms. And they're detailed nicely. I'm really hoping that it's something with a Demogorgon where it opens up its flower-looking face. But Dustin here... I can tell you that the paint is nice. It kind of is, I would say, this is the time when you go, kind of McDonald's, kind of Playmobil-ish, kind of that kind of thing. But the paint is there, and it really does look like an old 80s, Kenner, 90s, Beetlejuice slash real Ghostbusters. Very limited on the articulation. The arms will go up on both sides. So you can kind of put his arms up like he's going to do his fright features. Also, you can... Put his legs up, put him in the Ecto-1, I don't know. But the button on the back is what activates him. And, you know, just kind of get him in position here. And <laughs> it does the Fright Feature thing. And it's exactly how Fright Feature Kenner figures used to work. The mouth would kind of open up like a ventriloquist kind of dummy. I'll pop the hat off because underneath his hat is Dart. The little Demogorgon guy that he had in one of the seasons. Again, I think that was season two. But you can put the hat on, but you can't really see dart underneath because it's so shadowed so you kind of really have to look underneath it's interesting i mean i think it's kind of cool it's kind of fun to have that sort of integration of toys to show especially for stranger things but for 11 i'm gonna give this to them all day it's not the best looking figure at all right we'll just agree on that but there's the fun of that really simplistic look for toys but the fright features part is cool. A little bit of white paint splatter right there on the back of the jacket. But you kind of put the arms up. Really just the arm, nothing, legs. Yeah, squeeze the legs together. And she does the blood drippage thing out of her nose with the arm going up. Any higher with the arm, she would have been saying, like, hail Netflix. But it only goes up so high, which is pretty good. But the blood coming out of the nose, incorporating how it does with the show into a toy. I give it to him all day. I think that that's pretty darn cool. I, I love that. <laughs> All things aside, not the best looking figure, but it totally does the trick. And really, when incorporating them with old Kenner Real Ghostbuster figures, you have like the Fright Features Haunted Humans kind of thing, and you see how it kind of does the old commercial, and they're freaking out. You got Granny Gross, and you know, have her <laughs> eat 11. You can have a lot of fun with these. It brings back a lot of nostalgia. They're fun, goofy toys, if anything. But it's really... 
the look of the Ghostbusters. Now, back then, I really wasn't a big fan of these. Nowadays, it's like, oh, man, that's a nostalgia. But you can see how the ventriloquist-looking mouth opens and closes, especially on Peter here, where it opens and closes, the eyes bug out. So it's the same thing, same kind of technology, if you will. And, you know, same thing with Beetlejuice, buttons and levers, moving necks and frightening kind of spooky features to them have them explore beetlejuice is great it'll make for some nice photography if anything but to really kind of have these with the ghostbusters and then again stranger things incorporation with ghostbusters is a lot of fun to be had a lot of funny photos and such like that so i appreciate these for what they are especially like putting them in your real ghostbusters kenner collection it just looks cool the price point is at 13 bucks. I would say if you're just really not into these or if you're kind of like on the fence, eh, wait till they maybe clearance out. But for those of you who appreciate a good old fashioned toy mechanics and all that kind of thing, yeah, I recommend them. They're, they're nothing spectacular. They're not, oh my God, these are mind blowing. But for the old fashioned collector in me and liking old toys and collecting old toys for years and years, that yeah, brings back a lot of the Ghostbuster memories, especially since you could say Hasbro has that <laughs> license, and then Bandai ends up doing the actual quote-unquote fright features. Look, I like when you squeeze together legs, or you move an arm, or you push a button. That's cool to me. Even with the recent He-Man, I had Mosquito, and you push a button, and you got blood pumping action. You just don't see that a lot with toys anymore. So for me, that is just a very cool feature. Again, not the best, not the greatest, but they are fun if you're an old-fashioned toy enthusiast but i am curious to know what you guys think comment below let me know let's talk everything stranger things and season four is coming out looks pretty interesting it's kind of like a guilty pleasure watch at this point the kids are all getting older some of them are in the actual ghostbuster movie it's just like how many times can you revisit the idea it's like predator and alien how many times can you go to the upside down world <laughs> we'll see what happens in the new season but i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember I'm looking forward to what the other three do for maybe however many are going to end up in this series. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.